Hi, this is Angie Monko, life coach for intuitive women leaders. Um, just yesterday, my husband and I were heading home from my mom's. We had celebrated his birthday and he was feeling kind of forlorn and, and I asked what was going on and, and he just said that, you know, the celebration's over and, you know, he was just feeling a little sad about that. And I let him know it was natural to have sort of a letdown of grief after a celebration, you know, we were feeling real connected and now we're not feeling as connected and so that's normal. And then also uh, a couple days before that, we had on like Friday, we visited some of my aunts and uncles that I hadn't seen in like over four years. And one of them in particular was just getting older and looked very frail. And so, you know, I mean, it's hard watching our loved ones get old and frail and die. He even mentioned that he felt like he was on his way out. Um, so there was that. And the place that we met was, um, well, here's the story around the place that we met. And I'll explain why all this matters and, and as an intuitive woman leader, um, why this matters to you. Um, the, it was a Chinese place. Um, they go once a year my my mom and her siblings and to celebrate my aunt's birthday and this this chinese restaurant which i typically don't go to very much um was the same chinese restaurant that my daughter maddie and i ate at in 2018 and it was the last place that we ate together before she passed away a couple weeks later and it was really it was a very, very traumatic weekend. We were on our way to this craft fair weekend that she loved, and we decided to stop off and have dinner. And I carried her in actually because she was low. She was actually on oxygen. Why we were taking her is another story altogether. I think she sensed it was her last one, and she was really wanting to go. And so it. I didn't know we were meeting at this place. I had no clue. But then my mom said, yeah, I think this is the place that we went the night uh, of Spoon River Drive. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And so it was weird going in this place um, because it was such a traumatic weekend. Um, literally, we had to leave Spoon River Drive and take her home. And I mean, sorry, take her to the ER. And she never came out of the hospital. Um, so, you know, grief lives in all of us. And it doesn't have to be you know, an obvious grief, like losing someone that you love, like I did Maddie, um, I realized going into that restaurant that I'm stronger than I thought I was. And it allowed me some closure around that and um, around the loss of my daughter. And, but then like Steve, you know, he was feeling some grief after his birthday weekend and, and you know, not having the same attention and so forth. And, and there's grief in the last three and a half years with everything that's gone down in our world, like being alive means that you're grieving on some level. And so, and it's hard, you know, watching people we love get older and die. You know, it's hard just knowing that we're going to die one day, you know, and, um, but just the regular living is a, is a grieving experience. And the, I have a heal your heart retreat coming up semi-annual and, it's on September 11th and I'll put details below, but you know, it's, it's one of those things that can help you as a woman leader. Here's where it, where it relates because when you can heal from this grief that we all have, you become more compassionate. You create healthy connection with the people that you work with. And then that has you have more impact and influence as a leader. It just does. And so I invite you to check out the link to register. There's an early bird price by September 4th, which is in a week from today. So um, I'm here to support you. And I would love for you to reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Take care and have a great week.